the Beginner Ensemble. Um, I'd like to remind everybody that you should still be practicing um, song number 66 in your book, Are You Sleeping? If you need a reminder, it sounds like this. Ensemble students should also still be practicing song number 74 in our book, um, Fall or Autumn. And that one, if you need a reminder, sounds like this. Um, if you need help practicing those, you can go back and review some of our previous videos that we've had for Saturday Ensembles. Um, so today, I would like for everybody to open their book to page 30. Um, at the top of page 30, there is a green box that discusses dynamics. Now, we've already learned about dynamics, um, so if you see an F in your music, we should all know at this point that F means forte, which means loud. Um, so that is the loudest dynamic that we've um, done so far. And then also if you see a P in your music, that that means piano, so that's when we play very quietly. Um, but you'll see in this green box up here that there's more to dynamics than just forte and piano. Uh, so when you put an M in front of a forte or in front of a piano, um, M is, stands for mezzo, which means medium. Um, so if we have MF, that means mezzo forte, which means medium loud. So instead of playing like this, then we would play mezzo forte a little less loud. Now you could say the same thing for MP means mezzo piano or medium soft. So we play a little softer. And then when we see a P, that's piano, so that's our quietest dynamic. So, um, at the top of our page, you'll see a description of crescendos, um, and a crescendo um, starts um, from a smaller dynamic and then grows to a louder dynamic, and you can see um, the image of that at the top of the page. Um, and so, a crescendo, I would sound, it would sound like this. So, we'd start maybe piano and crescendo to forte. And to do that, we're going to play starting piano. We're gonna play closer to our fingerboard and then we're going to go towards our bridge. So that was a crescendo. Now to do a diminuendo, um, a diminuendo starts at a loud dynamic and um, gets quieter. So we would do the opposite, we would start at the bridge, closer to the bridge, and then move towards the fingerboard. So let's um, try playing um, some playing um, Are You Sleeping? And we'll start at forte and go towards piano. So you can practice doing a crescendo um, on your scales. You can pick any piece of music to practice a crescendo or a diminuendo. Let's all try doing a crescendo on a D major scale. We'll start piano and by the top of the scale we'll be at forte. Ready, go. <laughs> start forte at the top of the scale, go down the scale and get quieter, do a diminuendo. So now that we've reviewed our dynamics a little bit, let's look at song number 94 in our book, Country Gardens, that's on the same page as the dynamics that we were just talking about. So when we're looking at a new piece of music, uh, we need to check a few things before we start. So one of the first things that we can check for is a time signature. So the time signature for Country Gardens is 4-4. And that means that there are four quarter notes and four beats in a measure. 
Another thing that we can check before we play Country Gardens is for dynamics. So you'll see that there's a forte, an F with a dash, and a piano after the forte. So what that means is since there's a repeat at the end of the line that we play forte the first time through and then the second time through we play piano. So this, this is something new that we've never seen before. And it does the same thing uh, starting at measure five. Um, so we have a couple repeats in this piece. So the first time we play it, we'll play it forte, and then on the repeat, we'll play it piano. Um, for violins, we're going to use our fourth fingers. So if you look in measure three and look in measure seven, you'll see um, that we have some A's with fourth fingers. So this is something to look ahead at. And then um, you'll also notice that we have a dotted rhythm in measure four and a dotted rhythm in measure eight. So let's actually practice that dotted rhythm since that's something new for us. So let's look at measure four. So we're, we would count it out loud. We would go one and two and three, four. And it sounds like this. So we wanna count it out loud in our heads. So let's count it out loud. I'm going to count it out loud while I play it. You can just think it in your head while you play it. One and two and three, four. Okay, so um, you can also practice counting this entire piece out loud before you start. So the first line would go like this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. So I'm gonna play the entire um, first line with the repeat. So the first time I'll play it forte, the second time I'll play it piano, and um, you can follow along with me. One, two, ready, go. try looking ahead at the second line uh, measures five through eight um, so the rhythm is a little different this time but we still have a repeat um, we still have um, the forte the first time through and the piano the second time through um, you'll see that there's a little comma at the end of the piece so bef when we go back to do the repeat that means that we need to do a circle bow so we're going to end on a down bow, then we're going to do a circle bow, so we start on another down bow. Let's try line, the second line. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> you have a good time practicing this piece this week and looking um, using this as a time that we can test looking ahead at a new piece to make sure that we know what is coming um, by checking the time signature the dynamics counting the rhythm out loud looking for the repeats um, and then also as a reminder don't forget to practice once again 66 and 74 and if you come to office hours um, we would love to hear you play one of those pieces or 94 from this week, Country Gardens.